everyone, my name's Kid Kerrigan from the Stream Elements Dream Team and I'm here to talk to you about the Stream Store and how you can use it to reward your loyal viewers with perks that they can purchase using their loyalty points in your stream. Before we kick off, if you're not sure about the loyalty system overall, there is a tutorial link down below in the description for that entire system, so go check that out. Items or perks can be redeemed from your Stream Elements store page, so it's probably recommended to add a Twitch panel linking to that page in your Twitch panels down below your channel. Or you can add the Stream Elements extension, which is uh, the leaderboard extension has a bunch of different features, but also includes a section for the store, which we'll talk about later on. Or they can also redeem items using the exclamation mark redeem and then the item name in chat as well. If you want your store redemptions to show on stream as well, make sure you add the store redemption widget to your overlay in stream elements as well. But we'll talk more about that later on. So here you can see my stream store and you can see that there's a bunch of items here, um, but we'll go through each type if we just create a new item here. So you can see that you can either make a stream perk, a sound effect or an access code list. These all have different ways that they kind of operate in order for people to redeem those. Uh, so we'll go through each one. For the stream perk, you can go through and set an item name. For example, if I remake my postcard one, we can put postcard here, the item description. So that's kind of what, what is this stream perk? What is this item? So for me, it would be uh, Kerry will send you a, a, a personalized postcard IRL. You can also change settings like how often this item can be redeemed. So the global cooldown, if it's zero, then um, obviously people can spam redeem it if they have enough points. Uh, per user, you can set a cooldown for that as well. If you only want users to be able to redeem this perk um, every minute or so, we can put uh, 60 seconds or 10 minutes, whatever it is that you want. For something like a postcard, I don't think people would be spamming that too often because we can make it really expensive. Like maybe it costs a million points to be able to redeem this item. You can also change it to zero if you would like that. Um, that option to be free. And then item quantity, if I'm only giving away 10 postcards, I can put 10 in there. If you want an unlimited amount, put minus one in there. Then for the content, this is what would appear in the alert on stream. So if you have the store redemption widget available in your overlay, this is what will show when this item is redeemed. So we can add an image, let's say this cheeky looking GIF, because I like it, it's cute. Add whatever audio alert that you would like. And then uh, redeeming this item shows as an alert. I believe this is a new option actually. Super handy because if you want to be able to catalog certain things but not have them pop up on stream, then you can uncheck that. Check it if you would like them to show as an alert um, using that widget. If you would like it to be redeemable in chat or not, you will also need an item name for it to be redeemable in chats because the uh, your viewers will have to type exclamation mark redeem and then the name of that item. You can also make it subscriber only. If you only want your subs to be able to redeem certain perks, then you can put that here in the background. These audio commands are subscriber only. And then in the requirements, if we go next, we can add a requirement. For example, please include your full shipping address. Or if you want to make sure that people actually enter in all of their information correctly, which I've noticed that a lot of people don't, you can add additional fields here as well. For example, full name, street address, postcode, etc., etc., to make sure that you have all the information that you need um, to create that particular perk. Even if you're doing like a free commission for a piece of artwork or something like that, you can have what's your favorite animal, what's your favorite color, those types of things that will make it easier for you to formulate whatever it is that that perk is once you complete it. And then if you hit save, 
Here we go, it shows up in your store with everything else. Keep in mind that the suggested image size for this is um, 275 by 342 pixels. So that will make sure that it fills up this entire space here. Alternatively, the sound effect option works differently to the stream perks in that um, sound effects don't actually show uh, alerts on stream. It's obviously only the sound effect. So the third one is the access code list, which you can use for giving away, for example, a bunch of game keys that you've been sponsored or something like that. So for the item name here, we can put game key, item description, heckin game keys, free. And then we can make the item cost whatever you want. Maybe they're not actually free. Maybe they cost 500 loyalty points. Click on next. Uh, and then here um, we can add our list of keys. So I have a bunch of super duper 100% fake game keys here that I can copy and paste in there. You need to make sure that each game key is on a separate line, otherwise this won't work correctly. Then we can have the same options. For example, do we want this to show us an alert? People can redeem this in chat. Um, once a key has been given out, do not give it again. I dare say this might be definitely useful for game keys. However, if it is, um, for example, a discount code or something like that, that's an evergreen item, it's not necessarily a one use thing, then you can probably uh, unclick, uncheck that. Uh, dispense keys randomly if you would like to do that, or you can make it subscriber only as well. Requirements you can add if you need to, but I doubt that you'll need that for this one. Who knows, maybe you'll have a, an interesting idea for that. If you do, chuck it in the, the comments down below. For the game key perk, we can type exclamation mark redeem game key. Collect your code here. And it will show in um, that user's information what they've redeemed previously and it will have their code. Only they will be able to see this, by the way. This will be on their own kind of stream elements page. So now to actually include the alerts for the store, I'll show you how to add the widgets. So if we head on over to my overlays, I have a lot of them. We'll just create a blank one here. Example, 1080p, that's what I stream at. And we will go to the overlay editor here, widgets and store redemptions show an alert whenever someone redeems a store item this is the one that you want to add you can put it wherever on the page you'd like change the image for example this one you can change the alert if you want to edit the size the positioning the text settings if i want to make my text red we can do that we can change the text animation as well and the actual alert animation itself. And so now that's been altered. That's how you add this to your overlays as well. You can add any number of widgets to your overlays. So go ham as long as, you know, your computer can render all of this stuff. <laughs> there are so many things in here to look at. If you need more tutorials for that stuff, check out the Stream Elements page. Um, join the Discord as well if you have any questions about any of the Stream Elements features. The team there are always more than happy to help you and super duper responsive. So uh, make sure you check that out as well. Now, if you want to actually add the Stream Elements leaderboard extension for people to be able to redeem items through that, you're going to want to head to the extensions through your dashboard. This is on Twitch, not on the Stream Elements website, actually in your, in your Twitch account. Um, extensions, search for Stream Elements. And here it is here, Stream Elements leaderboards. Um, I already have this installed, so I'm just going to go to details. Click the configure button here once you've installed it. And here you can add a bunch of different things. But what you really want for this particular tutorial is to make sure that um, store items is checked. That will show the, um, the store items on your page. So I'm gonna save this out. We'll head on over here to my channel. And here you can see um, mine defaults to the countdown, but you can also click on store items here and then your users can, can go through here and redeem whichever items they like straight from this extension.
Keep in mind though that the items here um, are only for items that are available through chat. So if an item is redeemable through the chat, then it will appear here. If it's something like my original postcard, um, postcard perk where I need someone's personal information and I don't want them sharing that stuff to chat, obviously, because we want to protect our fans, then that will only be available through the native store on the Stream Elements website. Um, so for that, you would go to, I'm going to open my store here. This is um, the the front end of the store that my that my viewers can see. This is the postcard perk here. So they can redeem the item here and then continue and put in their mailing address info. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and find it really useful. If you did, make sure you let us know in the comments that you'd like more videos like this to help you out on your streaming journey. If you have any other questions, make sure you head on over to the Stream Elements Discord channel. They have staff there that are super responsive and always happy to help you out. Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well if you want some more information and I'll catch you guys on Twitch. Bye.